Hi kids! Welcome to Science 4. For today's lesson, we're going to identify the effects of decaying materials on one's health and safety. Let's go! Let's have fun while learning! Let's have a short review of what you have learned last time. You just put a check on the blank if the statement shows proper care for the environment and cross out if not. Go! Now, let's check your answers. For number one, people throw their garbage anywhere. The answer is X or cross out. Number two, cover the trash cans properly. It's check. Bing picked up the pieces of papers that she saw on the street. It is check. Number four, my father segregated the trash into decaying and non-decaying. It is check. And last, make a compost pit for decaying materials. It's a check. Good job, kids! Now, kindly take a look at this picture. Which material will decay fast and materials that will decay slowly? Kindly name them. Very good! Which of these materials can undergo decay? Very good! What do you think will happen to us if all these decaying materials will just be disposed anywhere in our community. That's right! And now, let's have an activity. It is a gallery walk activity. Since you are at home, you just describe the picture and give the effects of the decaying materials. It was entitled, What are the effects of decaying materials on one's health and safety? Are you ready? Let's start. Here are the pictures. Describe each picture and give the effects of the decaying materials to one's health and safety. Write your answers on your notebook. Now, let's see if your observations are the same. If you dispose decay materials improperly, here are the possible effects to one's health and safety. It can cause pollution, whether it is water pollution, air pollution, or land pollution. When we say pollution, it is an action or process of making land, water, and air dirty and not safe for use. For example, in water pollution, the water becomes contaminated and it is now safe or not safe for drinking or for swimming and no living things will live. On air pollution, the smoke or smell of decaying materials will pollute the air that can cause us skin itchiness like infections or cancer or other respiratory diseases. While land pollution, due to the waste materials, the land will serve as breeding places for flies, cockroaches, rats, and other pests. Those pests will carry germs that can cause different diseases that are hazardous to our health and safety. Another effect of decaying materials to one's health and safety is it can cause different diseases such as malaria, dengue, typhoid, cholera, dysentery, and skin disease like scabies and ringworm. 
Malaria and dengue are diseases spread by specific type of mosquitoes. For dengue, it is the Aedes aegypti mosquito, while in malaria, it is the female Anaphylas mosquito. Typhoid is a waterborne disease. People who drink polluted water can become infected with typhoid because it contains bacterium Salmonella typhi. While cholera, it is an infection of the intestine with Vibrio cholerae bacteria if you swallow food or water contaminated with the bacteria. Next is the dysentery. It is a disease that can cause severe diarrhea. If not treated properly, someone can die from it. It is a waterborne disease that is transmitted to a person when they drink polluted water. While the scabies, it is a cause by insect bites called mites. To ensure our health and safety, we should practice to make a compost pit, like in this picture. So when we say compost pit, it is a hole in the ground where organic materials are added, such as the food scraps, yard waste, and other decaying materials. When we say compost, these are waste materials that are recycled as fertilizers. These materials are not harmful to one's health and safety because it is a good for growing our plants. Here are some of the effects of making compost pit. First is, it reduces waste. Second, it improves soil health. Third, it attracts beneficial organisms to the soil and reduces the need for pesticides and fertilizers. Fourth, it reduces the potential for soil erosion. And lastly, it promotes healthier plant growth. Based on our discussion, what should we do to our decay materials to protect ourselves from getting sick? Very good! Proper disposal of waste should be observed and making a compost pit. Please remember these kids, decaying materials when not disposed properly causes pollution. Aside from that, pollution is harmful to one's health. It will make people sick. And lastly, Making compost is one way of disposing garbage properly. And now, kindly get your paper or notebook by answering this activity. Identify the effects of decaying materials on one's health and safety. Write yes if the statement shows a good effect to one's health and safety and no if not. Go! Let's check your answers. For number one, always clean the surroundings, so it is yes. Number two, stay away from dump site or landfills. The correct answer is yes. Three, throw your garbage on the canals. It is no. Number four, make a compost feed for decay materials. It is yes. And lastly, Draw chemicals and other toxic materials anywhere you like. The answer is no. Good job, kids. I do hope you got a perfect score. And for your assignment, please answer this question on your science notebook. How can you make your environment a pleasant place to live in? Thank you, kids, for listening. I do hope you learned something from it. See you again next time. Bye-bye.